Try maintain eye contact with the top lens, and uh, right. you can start by introducing yourself, John. All right, I'm John Kutch. I'm the executive director of the Thorium Energy Alliance. We're at the uh, Dave. Uh, hold on, one second. you'll like this. Dave, uh, I got a present for you, and it's not Starbucks. <laughs> Handmade by Little Women in uh, in uh, Iowa. Thank you very much. Are you gonna be able to get that back on the airplane, or are you driving? Uh, Airplane, but fit my Give it a shot. If they take it at customs, just no, no, no. I'm allowed. <laughs> We're allowed to bring back booze. Okay, good. You know, I don't know what you think about our country, John. I've had trouble getting booze back out of Canada. They're like, uh, "How about you bring it back with you?" I'm like, well, "Not on your side." In the United States, like, I'm like, "What do you give a shit?" I'm not going there for the booze, especially. Hey John, is this something you can do without your glasses? Just because of the chroma key. I, I don't yeah, want to... It'll look funky. But yeah, the chroma you, key. Because right, you have I... to squint? Is that the... Oh. No, I just... You know, people are like, who the hell is that? Okay. You don't have the glasses on. Okay, no, this is... He's, he's, really he's vainglorious. He's trying to... So anyways, I'm John Kutch. I'm the director of the Thorium Energy Alliance. Can you say that again, maintaining eye contact? I... <laughs> where? What? I'm John Kutch. I am the executive director of the Thorium Energy Alliance, and... We're speaking to you from uh, Loyola University Water Tower Campus, uh, Corboy Law School, Casbear Hall, and it's the location of the Thorium Energy Alliance Future of Energy Conference number four. So say John Kutchin, why you're interested in Thorium and how you heard about it the first time. Uh, uh, okay, I'm John Kutch, I'm the Executive Director of the Thorium Energy Alliance. I'm uh, interested in Thorium and I got involved in Thorium because uh, uh, we had a client that uh, paid for us to do some research into thorium and its uses, and uh, it didn't match his needs, but I just plain old could never let go of it. So now we find ourselves here seven years later, still working towards a, uh, a solution to our energy and material needs, and thorium is at the heart of all that. So that's why I'm here, and that's why I'm interested in, in thorium. So is thorium valuable? No, it's uh, it's the opposite of valuable. And I need you to include the question in the answer. Like, thorium okay. is not, some people ask me, is thorium valuable? Thorium okay. has no value today. All right, so, so people ask me, is thorium valuable? Can I buy thorium? Can I, you know, can I uh, invest in thorium? So people want to know what value is there in thorium. And there's no monetary value in thorium. It's it's actually just the opposite. It's, uh, it's you could, if you found a way to get rid of thorium, Many companies would uh, pay you to take it off their hands. It's a, it's a big liability today. And so uh, uh, there is no inherent value in thorium, so don't try and corner the market in it. It's, uh, it's not going to work. What's, what's your job? Like, uh, what do you do for a living? So what I do for a living is, uh, I hinted at it earlier, I run an engineering company and we do engineering consulting and we help companies come up with uh, products and processes and materials. So we uh, change out uh, the way they might make a widget of some sort or we'll come up with a new material that uh, reduces part count. And so uh, that is why uh, one of the, engine, one of the uh, clients we have asked us to do some engineering and find a material replacement. They thought thorium might be able to do that. And we told them, it, it's not going to help them, but, you know, it could save the world. <laughs> there you go. Gold. What are you trying to accomplish, and how are you trying to get stuff done? What are you trying to accomplish? So what we're trying to do here, the, 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 the solution that we're trying to come up with is that, yeah, I'll be there in one second. I'm just going to answer this last question. I'm sorry, Gordon. So what we're trying to do here, and probably the main work product that we could come up with in the Thorium Energy Alliance is that working together with rare earth interests and thorium interests, they have a symbiotic relationship and we're working towards getting some legislation passed that would allow rare earth production to restart in the United States and by doing that we would start a thorium bank that would take responsibility and accept the liability of, of taking on all the thorium and finding uses for it, including energy uses. And, uh, and then there's another uh, part of our, our strategy is to basically to uh, find new rules and regulations that pertain just to thorium and not all nuclear fuels together.
because a lot of times what people don't realize is thorium is, regula is regulated the same way that uranium and plutonium is to a great extent. And we all know that thorium is, is much safer to handle and much less uh, a dangerous substance. So we want a set of regulatory uh, uh, decisions made that will help thorium be used uh, more efficiently and more successfully. Or, or at all, I guess I should say. All right, uh, I'm sorry, Gordon. I'll jump in front of your green screen again if you want, but I got to start that unconference thing. Okay.